Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Ola Tutorials, and today we're going to be covering how to install a module in Angular. So in this case, we're going to be installing ng-animate, which is a module written by the Angular team. You'll notice there are several of these modules, such as ng-route for routing, uh, ng-touch, and things like that, that are modules written by the Angular team. However, they're not actually included into the core code. So if we were to just try to throw ng animate into our project as is now, it's going to tell us that it can't find it because simply because the files don't exist in our project. So this is something that confuses a lot of uh, first time users. They see ng animate in the docs. It says it's a module, but at the top, it never says anything about installing it um, until you scroll down or uh, end up Googling it even to find out that you need to add this. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to grab the CDN version off of Google like so. It's just this uh, version right here. You can go ahead and copy this and just add it to your page with the script tag. You can also just uh, grab the file from any one of these places and download it onto your computer. And let's go ahead and come to my HTML. I'm going to come to index and let's find where we added our other script. So up the top here we had our, our script tag script and the source is going to be equal to and then this file here. Now here's something important to notice. Uh, we have this XYZ. So if we were to search for this file, it's going to tell us that it can't find it. It's saying basically it's not on the server. And that's just because we have this X, Y, and Z. Now, if we were to replace this with the version number, for instance, we're using 1315, uh, we can go ahead and enter now. And as you can see, it's going to find this no problem. So here we do have our file uh, that is ng animate, and it's the same version of Angular that we're using. That's what you'll want to use is the same version. So now in our code, let's paste this in here. 1.3.15 and let's reload our page angular for everyone and let's check out the source if we select this uh, you can see that it is in fact getting the script absolutely no problem okay so let's come back to our page we now are loading up an additional module here right we have the javascript being loaded and it's being loaded after Angular. However, if we try to use this, you would notice it's still not working. Uh, that's because we need to use this module in our application. Now we just have this one JS file at the moment where all of our, uh, we have our controller and our Angular module directory app, everything lives right now. That's because this application is very, very small. It's 20 lines, and it really doesn't require any additional breaking out of things. However, once we start to break out things into controllers and things like that, you'll notice this to be quite a bit more complex and a lot more different files and various file structures that we're going to get over in future tutorials once this project grows a little bit. But for now, we want to just go ahead and add this module to our project. Now, let's head back to the documentation real quick. You'll notice that they say to load the module in your angular.module for your app. Uh, inside of these brackets is where this text goes, ng animate, which is a string here. And that's just the name of our module. If you're adding any third party modules, maybe you're getting some extra directives, like maybe something from Angular UI, which is a uh, nice set of additional modules and directives, uh, then you'd just be adding those modules that you're using with a comma inside of this array. Since we don't have any other modules at this point, we can just use an ng animate here as a string, just like this. And now our project's going to be using ng animate. Great, so we now have ng animate loaded into our project. Now, let's see what happens if we were to have the module name in our JavaScript file here. However, uh, we don't have the script. I'm just going to comment the, the script. What you're going to see is that you get this error, right? And luckily, when it takes you to this error page in the documentation, it sort of gives you a good idea about what possibly went wrong. But it's basically saying, uh, for instance, ng-route needs its own module. Make sure you have that installed. So if you're getting this message, uh, you are not including your script correctly, and you need to make sure that this path is, in fact, working. 
Okay, so if I uncomment that, you can see we refresh. Once again, we have no errors. So we've now added our first module into our Angular application, and this opens the door to being able to add a ton of functionality from a ton of different modules made from a ton of different people give you access to custom directives and just great new functionality that you couldn't get through core angular itself. There's a large community of people making stuff. So feel free to poke around and see what kind of things you can find. In the next video, we're going to get working on making an animation work. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.